All right, we're back under here again. Things are starting to look pretty serious. We got the clutch and the flywheel all finished and closed out. Everything's good up there. Uh, we got the Jeep up on jack stands now and the, uh, the drive line of the transmission with the transfer case is on a transmission jack. So a little scissor lift, that should help. Everything's lining up looking good. I can't really think of any reasons not to go through with this. So uh, let's move forward and see what happens. So while we're under here, we're just looking around, seeing if there's any last minute items that we can address, um, preparing for surgery. So we can peel off our protective cover from the shift tower, make sure we get all the tape off. Yep, that looks good. I uh, see this zip tie here, which I was using previously. That could come off, get that out of the way. We still got the wires tucked away neatly. The transfer case shift linkage is all ready and tucked away. We got the clutch slave, all that's tied off. Clutch flywheel, that shield, whatever this thing is. Things all uh, ready to go. Trans looks good. Oh, one other thing. Looking inside the bell housing here, uh, we obviously cleaned everything out. We replaced the throw out bearing right there, which you can see in the middle on the shaft. The fork was in really good shape, but that spring on the upper left corner that looks like a circle clip. That thing was worn pretty good, so we did replace that. The ball underneath that, the pivot ball, that was also in really good shape. So nothing, uh, nothing else besides what we mentioned. All right, everything's looking good. Let's go for it. Okay, we got this thing moving a bit. Once we got it started, it wasn't too bad. Oh, it was a good time to start thinking about getting the shifter aligned back towards the shift tower and get those plastic bushings put back on. All right, I think we're getting pretty close here. We're getting pretty close. Check it out. That's the bell housing. You can see the, the flywheel inside. And uh, cover shield. So a little bit of a gap where it yeah, looks like we're maybe, maybe an inch or so. We just gotta get that lined up. Then we got it, believe it or not. It's all lined up. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, let's see. There we go. The bell housing dowels, pins are actually aligned. It took a lot of fussing with it. A lot of fine adjustments on the uh, on the jack. But I think we're at a point now where we can start getting the hardware installed. We got some new bolts. Hopefully these things will thread right in there. for the rest hopefully it pulls in and doesn't push it out oh, I think it's pushing it out a little bit so that's telling me that the threads aren't lining up oh yeah it popped out we gotta maybe get the other side started too More to come. So four more bolts. These two go on top. They replace the uh, E-Torx or the E-External Torx that came from the factory. 
and then these go on the bottom. So let's get to it. While we're here, the bottom two are pretty easy to get to. So we'll just get those started. Well, in all, that was it for the transmission. Pretty straightforward at the end of the day. Nothing, uh, nothing too scary. Just took some patience and some careful positioning. So thanks for watching, following along. We're going to continue on putting this thing back together and hopefully have it back on the road pretty soon. We'll see you on the next one.